Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne. This is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing The Flash and we're doing Season 2, Episode 1, and it's called The Man Who Saved Central City. So we start off with um, Snart and Heatwave versus The Flash and Firestorm. And they beat them pretty good and lock them up, hand them off to the police, and they go back to Star Labs, and it's just a happy time. Everything's in sync and stuff, but it turns out Barry was just dreaming math. So none of that happened. So uh, he is basically alone now, and now Cisco's part of the MetaHuman Task Force, and I'm um, working with the police, the CCPD with that. Uh, then we find out Caitlin is now at Mercury Labs, and now Barry is being like the cleaning up um, uh, the city, and Ronnie and Stein um, got to help. A uh, flashback. Ronnie's son got to help um, with the singularity. <laughs> Took me a second. Um, but it works, but Ronnie is gone because uh, basically they, like, um, they did, what they did was they went nuclear inside the singularity to close it. And so it shot them all across, but Ronnie disappears and presumed dead, and Snart um, gets rescued by Barry. And then we're back in the present day where uh, Flash, where it's Flash Day, and it's literally cheesy as f. It's so cheesy, but I can appreciate kind of. But I was like, dial it back a little bit. Like it has so much cheese. It overpowers macaroni. Just saying. Anyway, I only understood the reference I just said, but anyway, I keep in that in. So, um, but Barry does show up. Because there was uh, doubts that he was going to show up because he was kind of feeling like I don't deserve it. And the real person was like Ronnie and Stan. They have some type of straw man attacks. And then Cis um, the Cisco has a vibe about him. And um, turns out there's a new weapon that um, Cisco developed. It's called the boot. It's basically neutralize your powers. It's not working right. And, um, and the guy fed off of that and actually grew. Got taller. So the guy escapes, and then Cisco visits Caitlin um, and asks for her help. And then she's kind of like, I don't know. I kind of just want to focus on me and not go back to Team Flash right now. But Cisco's just like, well, let me just leave a sample so you can just pick up this part. I would really appreciate it. And then he has some attorney guy, talks to Barry, and gets on a flash drive. And he has to watch it within, I think, 24 hours or Star Labs does not, is um, going to be shut down. And, um, but Barry doesn't want to watch it. And then you have the, um, they have Team Flash forces themselves on the Barry to help him. Um, but he isn't happy about it and left the comms at Star Labs. And then we have Cisco sets off um, the alarm. And um, for the showman, because they found out his location, and he's at a nuclear factory. So that's how he gets his energy through it, uh, for that. Then we have a flashback, touching moment between Barry and Joe. And we're back in the present where Joe and Barry talk. Then Barry visits Caitlin, and they decide to watch the video. And then we have Wells confesses the murder of Nora Allen. And you know, there's a slight Batman reference in there. <laughs> and then um, we have the Flash versus the, uh, the radioactive guy. And so basically they were into a nuclear plant. And what they did was they trapped him in there and they turned it on and it gets overheated on the radiation. And... He's on the verge of death. <laughs> and he said he promised he would take me home. And we have Zoom's official official uh, mention. So it's like Zoom intro almost. And so then we have Henry Allen gets released. And it's like a really touching scene. But um, they're throwing like a welcome back party. And then he um, Henry decides to go off on his own. And it's like a really, really sad scene, like a really sad emotional scene, but it was actually a good scene. And then Barry gets the key to the city, and then Cisco upgrades the suit, 
And then someone breaks in, and you have Jay Garrick intro, and he says, your world is in danger, and that's the end of the episode. And also, Jay Garrison stalking him all episode with trying to be a photographer, so I thought he was like a pap at first, like a paparazzi. But um, turns out he's in the, um, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. It's because um, I'm already on episode, like, seven. <laughs> So anyway, um, I like the episode. I'll give us um, I'll give us a A minus, almost a B, because that super ass cheesy scene for Flash Day. It's hella cheesy. I'm sorry, I can't deal with that. Um, but everything else was pretty good, and um, I just wish some of these characters would, like Earth Two characters or whoever, they would come back or something. Because to me, I just think these all these one offs and stuff is like. Yeah, I feel like you have like multiple people come back because you just have people just come in, they get arrested, and you know you never see them again really. So it sounded like the first season were I'm getting so ahead of myself. I want to stop right now because <laughs> uh, I've watched a lot more of this season already. So anyway, I just want to drop it here before I spill anything else. <laughs> anyway, so um, if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and subscribe for more stuff and I promise I'll just focus on the episode. <laughs> anyway, I will I want y'all to have a super awesome day and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.